McClarity from LeadCamp.net. And guess what? It's story time, kids. This story follows the adventures of a little pig named Oinky, and it ends with the death of 18,000 Americans, but we're getting ahead of ourselves. Oinky is being raised on a factory farm with thousands of other pigs. He spends most or all of his days in a crate too small to turn around in. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, that sounds delightful. Carefree days living side by side with thousands of your friends on top of each other. However, the problem is that Oinky and his friends tend to die of diseases. Buzzkill. But there's an easy answer. You just pump Oinky and his friends full of antibiotics, thereby making them super pigs. They now have a special superpower, the ability to live in each other's shit without dying. I smell Hollywood action film. But now we have a new problem. Factory farms use 80% of this country's antibiotics and so much overuse creates bacteria with their own superpower. That superpower is to kill humans. Party foul. This antibiotic resistant bacteria is responsible for thousands of deaths each year and one day might cause millions. Staph infection alone now causes more deaths in the U.S. than AIDS. So what's the answer? Well, again, it's easy. You greatly restrict the amount of antibiotics Oinky receives, like the European Union has done. So what steps has our FDA taken? Well, they announced a month ago they were no longer even going to try to regulate antibiotic use on farms. They would instead opt for a volunteer form of regulation. And the U.S. Department of Agriculture also silenced a well-done scientific report showing the connection between the treatment of Oinky and antibiotic-resistant organisms in humans. And I gotta say, I love this idea of self-regulation. Factory farms are killing Americans, and we've decided to let them self-regulate, so we should do the same with other killers, like Charles Manson and the Unabomber, Son of Sam and the Sniper. Let loose the killers, let them fucking loose, and we'll see how they self-regulate. The big banks do a great job of self-regulating, as we've seen over the past decade. Hell, most companies can't regulate themselves even when there are laws against something they're doing. I mean, violating the Clean Water Act seems to be a rite of passage for a company to prove it's a big boy now. So what's the difference between the U.S. and the European Union? The difference is that our system is completely owned by corporations and their lobbyists. If corporate interests want to kill a whole bunch of humans in order to have thicker, juicier bacon on every BLT sandwich, then our lawmakers and regulators basically say, go to town, run wild, live that la vida loca. My only qualm with this system is that if you're gonna kill thousands and thousands of Americans for the sake of deli meats, shouldn't we at least add their meat to the buffet? That's so much wasted human meat. Plus, unlike Oinky, that's free-range human meat, which means it's ethical. Even PETA would love this idea. For the first time ever, factory farms will be doing something ethical. And I bet you thought this story time wasn't gonna have a happy ending. That's your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net. Much of the information in this video was found in Tom Philpott's article in Mother Jones Magazine. Also, the moment of clarity book. The book is finally here. The paperback book. It's finally out. You can get it. Just go to LeeCamp.net and click on the album slash book tab. And uh, you can find out how to get it. It's only $14.95 on most sites. and Or you can get the ebook, which is uh, which is only $7.95. It's 90 episodes of Moment of Clarity. The transcripts all written out for you. Nothing censored. Nothing taken out. And uh, 20 never-before-seen photos by photographer C.S. Muncy on the front lines of the Occupy movement and down at the New Orleans oil spill and a little bit of everything. So check it out. Thanks. No plans at all. Evil man's always transcending. Fight her like sheep, swallow everything. Always simple tins or pretend.